to deliver them. So it's very important that Vakka Janko can find a character in Urdu. But definitely, Praman Shrikar and Rujit Karla, Yemi Jai Bota Mano, Day One Nunchi Yemi Jai Bota Mano, kick start from there. Definitely, Yemi Jai Bota Mano, I will speak to you still in Kerala. No, I have English for all. Can I go on my English? English media, anybody, anybody, any have any 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 questions? Any one of you has? Sure, one more. Number one, you went went and met the prime minister. Can you introduce yourself? So I can call you by name. I'm Fire Meta from Theater Network. Sure, Fire Meta. You went and met the prime minister, the premier, from which you have you said that you wanted to come to power only so that you can assure special status for us state of Andhra Pradesh. Any assurances from the center on that? And secondly, what are what are the options that you really have? Are you looking at getting into the NDA? Would you be aligned with the NDA in some form or another? See, the fact is. Had these numbers been 250, what I prayed for literally, it would have been a wonderful moment for the states. A word what was given on the throne of the house was not delivered. That is the plight of democracy that we see today. But yes. Unfortunately, since those numbers are not 250 that we were hoping for, I'm seeing since these numbers are 340 or not, what have actually been a reality, there is very little that we can do in demanding or in all in commanding. But yes, we did meet the Prime Minister, we did explain to him as to how this special category status is so much required for us. We did mention to him that it is so very important because it's the lifeline for us. We did explain to him the background of it. Other than that, you know, we also explained to him the state's plight. Today the state debt burden is so phenomenally high. In fact, 67 years of independence when the state was bifurcated, the debt burden what was transferred was during bifurcation was 97,000 crores. In these five years, our debt has actually swelled to 258,000 crore rupees. Our interest repayments alone is 20,000 crores per annum. And our principal and interest put together are repayments of 40,000 crores per annum. So this is the kind of situation that we are in. And we did explain to him that, you know, this being the situation, it's very important that, you know, we need a lifeline from you. You, don't, you need not need us. He doesn't need us. But I told him that, you know, this is the time to be unanimous. This is the time now that you are in position of strength. For someone in being in position of strength, being for being in position of strength, and not having the need to do it, but yet doing it for the people of a particular state because the world was given as a precondition for life education. And that kind of magnanimity. This is the time to actually exhibit. Of course, we tried, and I mean, of course, I, he at least, I'm happy that he listened to it. And he was a very, he was, he listened to the whole thing. He was positive about it. He was positive about the state. He was positive about everything. And that's a good sign. But from here, we're just hoping that, you know, things would come out positively in, in our direction. So we're just hoping that things would emerge in our direction in a positive way. But one thing I can assuredly say, this is the first meeting with the Prime Minister today, and God's grace, God willing, I'll probably be meeting the Prime Minister maybe another 30 or times, or 40 or times, or 50 or times, whatever God's permit, God permits me to do, over these five years. Every time I go meet him, I will definitely, at least, definitely make it a point 
to remind him of special category status, to remind him that this was a word given on the floor of the parliament. And we're not going to just let go of it. Today, we might not get it. We might be at, uh, at somebody's uh, uh, mercy. Uh, but, but someday, as long as you know, we keep reminding and reminding and reminding and reminding and reminding, and someday, you know, things will change. And that someday, we will have a situation where it will become a reality. And today, I mean, the, the most important thing is why we are pressing it for, why we are pressing it so hard. The reason why we are pressing it so hard is because so we have a situation where while the state was divided itself, everybody knew that, you know, this is the first time where a demanding state for bifurcation took away the capital. Never in the history of this country a situation like this took place where a state demanding bifurcation took the capital. This is the first time it's what happened in the Nisan Pradesh. And never is there a case where, as a precondition for bifurcation, the parliament approved uh, uh, special category status and then bifurcated the state. And never so it has ever happened in these situations that you ever found the state like this. Where you know, our people, our, st our students, our youngsters who graduate, they have no place to go for a job. We cannot compete with Hyderabad, we cannot compete with Bangalore, we cannot compete with Chennai. Until and unless something special is given, until and unless you know we have hundred percent IT exemption, what actually comes with special category status, until unless we have hundred percent GST, what actually comes with special category status. Only these kind of incentives would motivate somebody to come and set up hospitals, hotels, industry, IT. Only then these kind of things would come. So this is very important for our for our youngsters to actually. Uh, uh, to, to find a job. I mean, where do we go for jobs? But at the same time, these numbers uh, put the central government in a big advantage and depriving us of uh, the advantage what otherwise we would have expected from our life. Are you denying any of Are you denying any Will give them. Sure. member, Abhijit Singh, has written, has given a written uh, a, a letter, a written letter, clearly saying that we have not rejected. The 14th Finance Commission Chairman, Mr. Vaibhi Reddy, was vocal, it hit all the newspapers first, was vocal in saying that we do not deal with this subject of granting special category status or not. It is not our subject. And we have not recommended for abolition of special category status. This is what Mr. Vaibhiriti also very categorically spoke. So you have the finance commission, 14th Finance Commission members clearly clarifying it. And so you, and you also have 14th Finance Commission chairman also clarifying that they have not recommended for 
abolishing of special category seats because it does not it does not come under their purview. All what they have said is they have said the when it comes to revenue deficit grants the uh, uh, they have just cleared that irrespective of whether the state is special category or not, if any state has got revenue deficit uh, coming into the picture, that should be bridged. That's all what they spoke about. They have never spoken about abolishing of special category status because it's not their problem. And as far as this particular incident, this particular special category status is concerned, on March 2nd, 2014, the then UPA government, after bifurcation, held a cabinet meet. And in that cabinet meet, they approved special category status. So basically, you know, a grant of special category status is that is an executive decision. Meaning, executive decision meaning it is the will of the it is the will of the prime minister, will of the cabinet to approve special category status. So on March 2nd, 2014, it was approved. The cabinet said Andhra Pradesh should be given special category status, and the directions were also passed to planning commission. And the planning commission was present, was very much alive, till 31st December 2014. Till 31st December 2014, planning commission was very much alive. It was only on 1st January 2015 that Niti Ayo came in. So the cabinet approved on 2nd March 2014, and the file was just left in planning commission for implementation for a whole seven months. And unfortunately, our Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu did not bother about it. Had he gone to planning commission and pursued it then itself, it would have been a reality. We would have been talking about, we would, we would not have been talking about the issue. Uh, Be it with finances or be it with special category status or be it with anything, as the Prime Minister himself. So he is the Prime Minister and I am the Chief Minister. So I need to ask him, I need to request him, I need to do everything what I should be doing as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh to persuade him to do the best what he can to the state of Andhra Pradesh. And as far as meeting Amit Shah is concerned, Amit Shah ji is concerned, who is the number two man? Who is the most powerful number two man in the country? Can I ask you straight? Tell me. I did not say. You saying it as well. As, you saying it as well along with me. Everybody in this room, if I, everybody in this room knows about it. He's really the most second most powerful man in this country. He's obviously the president of the party that is in power. Right? That is none other than uh, the party president, Amit Shah. So, so me meeting the me meeting the second most powerful man in this country is also to make sure and also to request the second most man in this country to also persuade the first most first most powerful man in this country to help Andhra Pradesh tide over the situation that we are in. No, you, you said you, said you are disappointed with uh, the. See, at this stage, it's not right on my part to comment on uh, Ahno, uh, party that has lost. It's not right on, my, uh, right on my part to make any such comments. It's their internal decision, internal democracy, and that whatever they deem fit as a party, they do, they do take their stand. And whatever decision they take, it affects their party, not my party. So I shouldn't be bothered about what decisions they take. At all they want to take a decision, it only affects their party. So why should I be bothered about that? You said you are disappointed with the numbers of the BJP, right? And did you say this to Modi also? 
pointed out to him that, look, you are in a position of strength and I can't bargain you with you much. Please help me. Did you say that? And did he point out to you your similar numbers? Your numbers in the state? They are far higher, far bigger, far bigger, far higher. Uh, you won't ask me where a full stop was put, where a comma was put. <laughs> and it gets slightly difficult on my part to explain what actually, uh, how the conversation went, the full stops and commas. But, uh, but you know, on the face of it, uh, we, had a, we had a healthy discussion, we had a positive discussion, and he was positive about the whole thing. And uh, it was one hour discussion, he, he spared one hour, he listened to us, he was positive about the whole thing, and he had, I, think, I could see that he had something in his heart that he wanted to help Andhra Pradesh. He wanted to help our state. That was quite visible when I heard him, when I saw him. So the whole conversation went positive. But obviously, in one conversation, nobody says, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. Nobody would conclude that. So, so he was positive, so that's one positive step. That's one positive direction at least. And we don't start meeting him now with this one meeting. Every time we go there, we still persuade him and say, Sir, please. Sir, please. And we need to just be keep pushing it. What else can we do? Till he yields. So what's the status on NDA? Are you, why do you think you're joining NDA? That was my question if you did not. <laughs> why do they need anybody to join it? Join them. And they themselves are 340 plus. So, so they don't need any of us or anybody to actually, uh, know, to be joining them. Because you know, they themselves have the numbers. Unfortunately, that is what I've been saying. I pray to God so much that, you know, please, Lord, God, don't give them that. Don't, don't, please don't give them beyond the 50. Perhaps you didn't pray to 